Welcome back everyone. Here's a look at the look I'm doing today. I've called it Soft Spice after the eyeshadow that I'll be using. Let's get started. So first off, I primed my eyes and I'm using Violet Storm Cream Eyeshadow from Miwi K. It's a purple primer, but we're going to cover it up so it really doesn't matter what color primer you use. I'm applying that all over my eyelid area with my fingertips. Next, I'm using a highlighter from Taos in Hot and Spicy, and I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. So with a flat, sable-haired eyeshadow brush, I'm applying it all over my eyelid. Then I'm going to take it a little higher than my eyelid, because for this look, I'm trying to create the um, look of very big eyes. The first thing in my crease is actually a powder. This is Cacao from Maybelline, and I'm applying it with a Hagar and Esther crease brush into my crease. Then I'm applying a matte brown eyeshadow from the Sam Fine for Fashion Fair collection into the very inner V of my crease. And again, I'm taking this a little higher than my actual crease to make my eyes appear bigger. I'm blending with a blending brush and gently pulling it towards the inner corner of my nose. I'm going back and forth with these brushes just to blend it out and get the crease as dark as I want it, but I'm still keeping it really soft. I line my eyes next with gel liner from Zaron. And to get the perfect sharp line, I'm going to lay down some tape in my outer corner and then I'm going to gradually line my eyes using a brush, an angle brush from Real Techniques. Every time I do a winged liner, I like to build the liner. So I start really small and gradually pull it in to get the shape that I want. My lashes are doubled up Amazing Shine Lashes. I'm using 747 M and S. First, I applied the 747 M's, which are the longer lashes, with clear glue also from Amazing Shine. Once I have the first lash in place, I'm going to apply the second pair right on top of it. This is the shorter one now, and it's just going right on top of the longer one. I line my waterline with white eyeliner. Again, remember we're trying to make my eyes appear larger. If you want a, a more natural look, you can use a beige eyeliner to do this. My mascara is also from Maybelline. It's the Falsies Big um, Eyes Mascara. I use the big side on my top lashes and then I'll swap to the smaller side for my lower lashes. This mascara is amazing. Whoever came up with these two brushes in one is a genius. <laughs> then from the same palette, the same Sam Fine for Fashion Fair palette, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the shimmery gold shade. Blend that into my crease color. And we're done with my eyes. I primed my face and then applied Mary Kay foundation all over and highlighted my face with the Black Up Contour Stick. It looks a little something like this. And then I'm going to blend it all in. And I'm using a small dual fiber brush to do this. This one is from Delium Tools. Then I set my highlight with Banana Powder from Ben Nye. Brush away the excess and then I'm going to apply my contour. Today's contour is going to be very soft, so I'm only using the cacao powder from Maybelline and an angled brush. This one is from Hena and Esther. I applied that under my cheekbones and around my forehead. I'm also softly applying it down the sides of my nose. Blend, blend, blend. My blush is Demarara from the Sleek Blush by 3 Sugar Palette. And then with the Taos highlighter that I'm wearing on my eyelid, I'm going to highlight the center of my nose very slightly. I'm keeping my lips soft as well. I'm lining them now with Mahogany Lip Pencil from Zaron. I line the outer rim of my lips and then gently pull in the pencil. Smack and then my lipstick. This one is Butter from NYX. In the very center, I applied Cala Lip Gloss from BM Pro, which is white. Smack, 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 and we're done. Here's a look at the finished look. I really like this look. It's soft, it's flirty, it can go for almost any event. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. There'll be more details and pictures on the blog. Till next time, bye.